Welcome to your channel Budding Nurses. Please do like, share and subscribe to your channel Budding Nurses. And hit that bell icon to get all the videos first. So today, this is the second episode of COVID-19. We are discussing about the COVID-19, which is the disease caused by coronavirus. It is called as Coronavirus Disease 2019 or in short, COVID-19. So friend, the sources, sources of COVID-19 are believed to be animals, or zoonotic and human to human which is contagious so animals who are infected with the coronavirus disease with the coronavirus will be consumed by humans and they cause infection and from human to the human it is caused by direct contact with the material which is used by the infected person or used by the positives and the droplets or the respiratory droplets like and the saliva and the feces friends feces are also uh, containing the infected virus which can cause fecal oral transmission to the other humans friends coming to the risk factors of corona virus disease or covid-19 they are carrying the positives or the ones who are being infected or being in close contact with them. And the second one being traveling to those places where there is coronavirus prevalent and or living at the places where there is pandemic or I mean epidemic outbreak of the coronavirus or uh, being in close contact like in offices or in workplaces with those people who have recently traveled or a travel history is the uh, risk factor for the coronavirus uh, infection and then working in the areas where the animals are present like those people who work in farm places because the animal source is still unknown friends even though there, is, uh, there are theories which say that it is the bat or it is any other animal which causes the uh, zoonotic transmission from uh, animals or the bat to the humans but still it is unknown and then eating the uncooked meat that is also one of the biggest reasons for the transmission of uh, coronavirus 19 or any other diseases as well. Coming to the signs and symptoms, it is fever or pyrexia, there is cough which is seen in the patient and there is sore throat and there is shortness of breath which could be seen in the patient and there is fatigue or excessively uh, tired, the, that is what they feel, they feel very exhausted and uh, being a nurse friends, I would like to tell you that in a recent uh, research, recently they have found out that there are a loss of two functions, that is loss of olfaction or smell and loss of taste or the state uh, function are also the symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, prevention part, uh, the best prevention is stay at home or do self-quarantine. This is possible by each and every person apart from the healthcare personnel who have to go and do our duties. Then comes the hand washing. Frequently, we have to wash our hands for more than 20 seconds and by using a good alcohol-based hand sanitizer, which has more than 60% of alcohol base in it, we can uh, combat the uh, viruses. And we have to, friends, avoid touching the uh, T-zone area, which is our eyes, nose and the mouth regions. Friends, you have to cover your face while you are coughing or sneezing and if possible you could use those disposable tissues which you can dispose them properly after being using. And then we have to avoid traveling uh, to the risky areas or at present situation where there is lockdown you have to tra avoid traveling as much as possible. Then if you uh, are a nurse, then if patient has signs and symptoms, you have to ask them the travel history because there could be a recent travel history which could reveal the suspect and the coronavirus infection. And then friends, we have to follow the hospital protocol for the usage of the PPEs and other uh, 
things uh, during the outbreak and we have to disinfect the surfaces regularly because the viruses can be uh, alive in the surfaces for about 9 hours and uh, we have to follow the isolation method and we have to use the PPEs properly, we have to use the gloves, the mask and other PPEs like gowns and others and we have to do early testing because early testing will prevent the uh, for the spread of the infection and thank you friend i would like to conclude my video with this thank you please do like share and subscribe and please stay at home and prevent yourself and the other person from getting the covid-19 disease thank you please subscribe to your channel budding nurses thank you